Today I'm visiting Jackson Hole in the magnificent Tetons of Wyoming. Jackson Hole season got off to an amazing start in November. The whole mountain was open on day one. How? Well, they've had 200 inches of natural already, and it's not even Christmas. With the La Nina pattern in place, the snow is going to keep on coming, and Jackson Hole could set an all-time snowfall record this season with over 600 inches. If you're planning on skiing on Christmas Day, be sure to check the status of your favorite resort. In Connecticut, the snowmakers have now opened every run at Ski Sundown, and all the major trails are skiable at Mount Southington. The snowmakers have made sizable gains this week at Catamount and at Butternut in the Berkshires. The mountain crews have done an incredible job at Jiminy Peak and at Gunstock in New Hampshire, where two-thirds of their terrain is skiable. Look for more runs to open in the coming days at both Wyndham in the Catskills and at Tall Gore Mountain in the Adirondacks. Trail counts have expanded very nicely this week at Mount Snow and Okemo in southern Vermont. Killington Stow and Jay Peak are in very nice shape, just one good snowfall away from a major terrain expansion. Out west, it's been very snowy of late at Sun Valley, here at Jackson Hole, and even in the southern Rockies at Telluride. The snow's been measured in feet in the past week at Brighton and Snowbird in the Wasatch Range of Utah. Pacific storms pounded away at Alta and Park City this week, and both resorts are now in full operation for the holidays. The temperatures in the east will continue to run below normal through the holiday period. I'm Herb Stevens, the skiing weatherman.